Welcome to the Secretary of State Information Management System, the business entity, which is a mouthful, so it's called SIMSBE for short. It replaces the 1977 paper-based system. Perhaps you won't even, weren't even born yet in 1977. And we've been working to update our system and finally launched this past August. I'm Jane Demery, Deputy Secretary of State, acting on behalf of Secretary McCullough. SIMS BE will simplify all your business filings, file business forms, request copies and certificates, conduct searches and more all online. SIMS BE will make filing business documents more efficient, convenient and will be accessible 24-7. Save time, money and get results in minutes instead of weeks, all from your own computer. Not a computer person? You can still file paper documents. I hope you learn a lot from this webinar, and now I'll turn it over to Sarah Bardo, our SIMS project manager, for further information. Thank you, Jane. We are excited to share with you today a brief introduction to SIMS BE. Just a couple quick notes before we start. All participants have been muted for this session. If you have a question, please post it to the Q&A section of the WebEx Events Center. At the end of the session, we'll respond to as many questions as possible within the time frame available. If you have a technical problem, simply submit a request in the chat section of the WebEx Event Center, and our IT team is standing by to assist. Okay, let's get started. Today, we're going to give you a sneak peek at what's new with SIMS BE. We'll explain the importance of authority, walk you through step-by-step -step instructions to register your account, and finish up with Q&A. To guide you through our agenda today, I'm happy to be joined by our Deputy of Business Services, Tana Gormley. Thank you, Ms. Barto. Good morning, everyone. What's new? The new system allows you to file business documents online, such as ABNs, LLCs, and more. Since we'll be using ePass, Montana's secure login, you'll be able to order and download copies online and monitor your business as well as others. Plus, you'll have access to a personalized view of your business activities, also known as your dashboard, which we'll see on the next slide. What's next? Additional features planned for releases after launch will also be included in the What's Next section of this page. What's not? Some rare items will still need to be filed by paper, as shown on the list on the right. From the SIMS BE welcome page, you can register or log in with ePass, quickly access common activities such as search for a business or file an annual report under the Get Started section, find answers to frequently asked questions, step-by-step -step instructions, how-to videos, and more through our Help Center. After you register and log in, you will be routed to your personalized SIMS BE dashboard. From your SIMS BE dashboard, you can quickly access frequently used tasks with Do It Now. Access all your business documents in one place on the My Items tab. Track the status of your documents, including your unfinished business documents. Receive important business reminders and monitor your online payments. Only authorized individuals or organizations will have authority to file and maintain businesses online. There are multiple types of authority depending on whether you are a principal service company or an agent. For existing companies, authority must be established using an activation code. Within the past few weeks, you should have received a mailer with an activation code in a bright blue box. Please keep this code in a safe place. You will need this code after logging into ePass to register your account with the proper authority. Because business owners and registered agents have different types of authority, a separate account registration process is required for each group. For your convenience, 
The activation codes recently mailed to you have been color-coded to easily differentiate the process. A separate webinar presentation is available for each group. This webinar will focus on account registration, step-by-step -step instructions for registered agents representing less than 100 entities with a registered agent activation code. There are seven steps to register your account. Step one. In the past few weeks, you should have received a mailer with a registered agent activation code in a bright blue box. You will need this code after logging into ePass to register your account for authority to access the businesses you represent as agent. This registered agent activation code will provide registered agents with limited registered agent authority. Limited registered agent authority enables you to file and amend an annual report and change or resign an agent. The system will also grant you registered agent authority for all other entities that contain your personal identification code or PID number. Questions about receiving multiple activation codes, missing or misplaced activation codes will be addressed during the Q&A section of this webinar. Step two. To access SIMSBE, go to our website and click on Business Services. Or you can click on the SIMSBE icon in the middle of the page. From the Business Services website, SIMS BE banner, click on Learn to learn more about activation codes, registrations, FAQs, and more. Click on Start to log in to SIMS BE. Click on Search to search for business names or name availability. Click on Request to find business information, copies, certificates, principles, and much, much more. Note. The icons in the middle of the website allow quick access, access to the UCC lien system. Paper forms, resources for registered agents and attorneys, our business toolkit, and the help center. Step three. From the SIMS BE website, click Log On with ePath on the bottom right of the screen under Register Login. Step four, from the ePass website, if you already have an ePass account to access other Montana State online services, you can log in with that username and password. Otherwise, simply create a new ePass account. After you log in to ePass or create a new ePass account, you will be redirected back to the SIMBE page. Step five, on the SIMS BE security activation code screen, select, I did not receive a security activation code. Then create your SIMS BE account by filling in the required user information on the screen. Please note, there are multiple types of activation codes. Your blue registered agent activation code that you received in the mail will be entered next, after you create your SIMS BE account. Step six. From the online services menu, select registered agents and choose registered agent search by PID for associated businesses. On the registered agent search page, enter the blue registered agent activation code that you received in the mail. This is also your personal identification number or PID number. Click search and select any entity.
Once you have selected an entity, on the View Business Entity page, select the option Confirm Receipt of Registered Agent Authority. Then, on the Confirm Receipt of Registered Agent Authority page, enter the blue Registered Agent Activation Code that you received in the mail and click Validate. Step 7. You're ready to go and welcome to SIMS BE. From here, you can view and maintain entities you have been granted limited authority to from the Maintain menu on the View Business Entity page. Limited authority enables you to file and amend an annual report and change or resign an agent. The system will also grant you registered agent authority for all the other entities that contain your personal identification number, your PID number. That wraps up our quick overview. The next two slides highlight some frequently asked questions around the activation code mailers. Due to high call volumes, we encourage you to visit the Help Center on our website to quickly find answers to many of your SIMS BE questions. Frequently asked questions. Here are some questions that we get asked a lot. Why did I receive multiple activation codes? There are several reasons why an entity may receive multiple activation codes. If you own a business and are also a registered agent, you will receive two activation codes, one for your business and the other as a registered agent for the entities that you personally represent. In addition, depending on how your name is registered with our office or the way the address is displayed may result in you receiving multiple activation codes. Another frequently asked question we receive, I do not have an activation code, what should I do? If you do not receive an activation code mailer by the launch date of August 22nd, please check your, with your registered agent or service company prior to contacting our office. So you should have received an activation code in the mailer. If you misplaced the notice you received, please email sosbusiness at mt.gov, fax at 406-444-3976, or mail on your company letterhead the following information your business name, the position or role you hold in regards to that business. For example, you're an officer, you're a director, a member, a partner, an owner, etc. Preferred return method for receiving your activation code. You would like to receive it by email, mailing, fax, just let us know. Contact name and phone number. Signature of authorized individual making the request. Please note you must have an ePass account and SIMS BE account set up prior to us granting you authority through the new business filing system. And now, our IT manager and I will respond to any questions that you may have. We don't have any questions in the queue. Okay. Well, very good. Thank you for joining our webinar today. Um, the slides from this presentation will be available on our website in the Help Center after the webinar, and a recording will be available in approximately 24 hours. Similar to launching any new software, we are prepared to assist customers through any challenges that may occur. This will be a fresh start for our business services division, and we are confident SIMS BE will allow us to provide even greater customer services for you. Please visit our website to learn more about SIMS BE and do not hesitate to contact us with any questions that you have. Have a great afternoon. Thank you.